Ladies and gentlemen, I want to begin by stating that PF as a party will make history by being the first party to lose and bounce back to power. And this we are determined to achieve. Fellow countrymen, women, senior members of the party, the press, and fellow cadets, as the nation may already have been aware, the Trotic Front uh, Central Committee meeting held last weekend here in Lusaka. And of course, this meeting was chaired by our party president, Dr. Edgar Chagwalungu, all MCCs were present with only a few notables absent like Honorable Davis Chama who is still held in detention without reasonable cause to do so. And as a party we continue to demand that the Honorable Davis Chama be released and we demand that justice prevails. It's amazing under the new dawn that one that was a victim in 2015, they are attempting to turn into a villain. But we are very confident that the judiciary will continue to rise to the occasion to make sure that justice is served. As a result, by the Central Committee, I would like to inform the nation and our members that the Central Committee was highly cordial, or the meeting was held in a highly cordial, insightful, and respectful manner, with a clear resolve by the leadership to address the many items that form the major part of the postmortem report. As you remember, the party had resolved to set up a postmortem report committee which undertook its assignment and it was only in the last central committee that their report was being presented. Among the resolutions and developments arising from the central committee are as follows. Number one, the stepping down of <laughs> Honorable Davis Miller Sector, as Secretary General of the party and also the stepping down of Honorable Ngongam Kupa as Chairman, National Chairman of the party. The stepping down of two of our senior party members, the Secretary General Honorable Davis Mwila and Honorable Ngongam Kupa, the National Chairman, was done at the last Central Committee meeting. The duo, the duo did this in the interest of the party and as a response to the call for the party to rebrand. This is in no way, or this in no way must be misconstrued to mean that the old members of the party have no value in the future of PF. I must state actually that they remain ordinary members of the Central Committee. Everyone in the party has a role to play and we all must complement one another and not carry an attitude of pointing fingers. What was done was done. Now and now our energies must be about the future. Also suffice to say there is no leadership vacuum in the party. The party president is around the Vice President is around, the Deputy SG Honorable Chinangwa is around, until we have a transparent, legitimate, democratic process to the General Conference that will eventually usher in a new leadership. So there is no vacuum. Uh, it is basically a democratic transition that we are going through 
that will usher in a new leadership at the General Conference. Let me remind our members and also remind the Zambian people the Zambian people thought by voting for UPND the country will be united. But see how deeply divided the country is becoming. We have a president who is overstretching his limit of everybody. His appointments say the other, and when he speaks, he says another thing. His arrogance levels and true colors are shamefully being exposed by the dead. A president with no regard to whatsoever for the history of our nation uh, and the contribution of our forefathers. He calls everyone who, serves, who served as a clique of thieves. Further dividing the nation. All this is because as PF, we are too preoccupied with insulting each other, you know, at the expense of us providing credible checks and balances. We cannot see political capital we cannot see the mistakes and point the, Zambia, point the Zambian people in the right direction because there are insults on our blogs. And I want to state here that we will soon be taking disciplinary action against disgruntled <coughs> individuals calling themselves members of the party who will not heed to the directive that were given to them. They are st uh, staring on the blogs and everyone's, everyone wants to make a, a name for themselves. We have the best insults and insulters, if there is such a word, within ourselves, other than <coughs> providing checks and balances towards or against the ruling party. We have not rebooted or re readjusted ourselves to no nourish what the people really want. Our relevance lies in being honest with ourselves and exercising maximum restraint in our conduct. We must be more willing to build other than to destroy. And intra-party discipline is key. How will we inspire the Zaman people to even look in our direction if you can't be mature and disciplined to humble ourselves. Zambians now know their power and any party that seeks to take over government needs to carry a good character. The culture of pouring insults, outbursts on social media will only take us backwards. If you have an issue with someone and genuinely you are persuaded to confront a person, fix an appointment, talk to him or her about it, and uh, as grown-ups in person, we shall not tolerate this degree of mudslinging among ourselves. Mm -hmm.